Somebody's racing you. Turn. Like a bullet. Hey guys, today's episode does not end in just a sunset photo after the fish that got away. Today we actually got some fish on film for you. And in today's 54 second breakdown, you'll see how we adapted to the weeds that we were seeing and how we adapted to the water temps that we were seeing on the lake at any one given time. And we're going to start right now. Heavy on one side. Got him. Not very big, but it's pretty hot. Oh, not that one. Okay. Hey guys, Glenn and Dave. 54 bust, we're back. Been out a couple hours. We are seeing fish in the weeds. I just got a little one here. He come in hot, he turned, and then he basically just hammered me there. And of course, Dave didn't see it because he was getting a backlash out as, I was things, not. as things go. So we're going to get this one out of the net. We'll uh, run her back to the garage. We'll do a 54 second breakdown. Pretty self-explanatory here. We are looking for the best possible weeds we can find. We'll be right back with you guys. Hey guys, fish number one for the breakdown. We're in a small bay protected by an island on the outside. And it's pretty shallow at the back end of it. It's like three, four feet deep and it's very marshy. But in front of that, there's a really good patch of weeds. And there's actually a rock pile out a little bit further that a little bit later in the season we'll see fish moving out to that rock pile or the island which is closer to the main lake but because we're in early july we're coming in and we're targeting the thickest weeds here so we come in this way and we're casting into the weeds but because we know this spot really well there's an inside corner in that weed bed that almost always forms and we were able to kind of pick up that corner of it where the weeds ended in its slightly deeper water and we were able to pick up that slightly shallower spot where the weeds were and as we moved across here we actually moved I think three or four fish in this spot and I was able to cast up ahead and pick one up right up there in some really sloppy weeds and it, while it wasn't a real big one it come in and we were able to get it going the figure eight so that was a great start to a night. So as far as Dadson's go Johnny gave me this one. We're gonna call it a blade with no name-ish. We'll 2.0. We'll just leave it at that. It don't look very extraordinary, but so far, this is the first one we got on it. Hopefully we get more. Not a very big one, but he come in pretty hot out hot. of the weeds. And it's the first one of the night, so. Oh, oh yeah, he's just a cute little guy. Oh, yeah. But we'll take him. First fish of the night. Won't be the last. Let's go get some more. There's a little shit, see that? <laughs> Look at 
Looking for a smart fish, that guy. Hey, hey guys. Got a, I don't know, it's like a 40-ish. Come back to where we were earlier, eh, Dave? Yes, sir. So we got it on the new Dadson Blade with No Name 2.0. That we got the first one on. This is definitely a nicer fish. It's not huge, but pretty decent. He hit way out from the boat. Basically the first turn of the, the handle. Oh, you better. Yeah, not really that low, okay? Decent. Okay, Eddie. we'll get this one through and Hard. he's gonna just do that. Okay. All right. So we'll uh, we'll go back to the shop to a 54 second breakdown. We got to finish this spot because Dave and I seen fish here earlier. So we definitely have a plan for the evening. So we'll kind of see how things go. We'll be back with you guys shortly. Okay, breakdown number two. We are in just classic shield structure. We have a main lake, neck down saddle area. We have this is an island on this side. This is mainland. And one of the big takeaways here is that we have lake effect current flowing this way. So flowing out. So when we come in with our boat, we're coming in this way and we're casting in and we're pulling our baits back through like bait fish would get pushed through with the natural lake effect current. So what makes this spot really unique is we have about an eight foot break out in front of some weeds. The weeds are protecting the saddle area, which is shallow rocks on both sides. You can get through on the trolling motor, but it just funnels a lot of main lake current through this area. So on this evening, we had come through this way and I bomb casted probably 15, 20 feet off of these rocks. And this fish hit way out from the boat. And for us, we're always looking at trying to cast up current and bring our baits back down with the current or with the prevailing winds. That's how we got that fish, and that's how we always attack a spot like that. Hey guys, sunset. On one of our favorite lakes, arguably probably could be our favorite lake it's been good to us yeah it's been good to us we're right at the end of the day we've had another decent day we learned actually quite a bit today just patterning the fish out again it's it's early in the season the temperatures have been all over the map it's crazy i've never seen water temperatures like this this year yet some places on this lake were 10 degrees warmer than what we have been seeing on the places we have been fishing so it was kind of a shocker that way yeah absolutely and of course the two fish that we got in the boat both came in sloppy yes. weeds where we seen warmer water temps so you guys will see those fish and for us that's just a bit of a learning curve and another thing to kind of back up one of the videos we did earlier this year it's about finding the best weeds we have waypoints i'll include a picture of last year's waypoints and you'll see where our boat track is visibly inside of where yes. we were last year yep. just because the water levels higher and just a different temperature of water so we're trying to find those best weeds that we can find we actually got a wind switch right now starting to get a little bit of a push from the yes. east which is nice because it's been scorching hot yeah it's been super hot so at that we're going to try one more spot whether we get anything or not, I'm not sure. But for one of our favorite videos of last year on this lake, that it's actually one of the videos we just talked about tonight that kind of started it for us. Just check out the link right here. And until next time, 54 buses out of here, and we'll catch you guys out on the water later.